talking about PLL the Perfectionist. How are you yep. feeling right now knowing that the Pretty Little Liars story is continuing on? I'm so excited. You know, it was the, the challenge for me was was coming up with a story that paid homage to, to PLL and really honored the brand of yeah. PLL, but felt yet really new, like a brand new show and brand new stories. And I think we did a pretty good job pulling that off. Talk to me about Beacon Heights. Well, Beacon Heights is very different from Rosewood. Uh, PLL we shot almost entirely as a, as a Warner Brothers backlot mm -hmm. show, which most fans already know. And this pilot and the show is going to be shot outside of in and outside of Portland, Oregon. So we're we're being true to the books. They take place in the Pacific Northwest, Beacon Heights, and so that's our new world. So of course, Sarah Shepard had another book series called The Perfectionist. How much are you drawing upon this source material and then kind of infusing it into this new show? Well, I'm not going to be. I don't want to spoil people who haven't be a spoiler for people who haven't read the books yet. But yeah. the books have a twist in them that would be kind of impossible to pull off in a TV show. So we we really just. I think it, it was great inspiration for the show, but we kind of go off a little bit uh, sooner than later. Unlike PLL, which mm -hmm. I think we were really true to the first four books. Yeah. So we've seen a promo teaser for the show so far. I'm completely hooked. Allie's moving over to a new town to kind of start a new journey, a new chapter in her life. Can you explain a little bit about why she's moving to this new town? Well, again, I don't want to be a spoiler because uh, we address that in the pilot. Okay. She and Mona have a conversation about that and we understand why she's making this journey. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a personal journey for her. And she, there's something she has to accomplish, I think, for her own sense of self. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you'll hear about that right away in the pilot story. Well, naturally, the Emerson fans out there are very worried that Allie is going off on this journey, that Emily is not seen into this promo. Should the Emerson fans be worried? Well, you know, it's the, the challenge of this spinoff is, is uh, the starting point was who wants to do it? Who, yeah. who really wants to be a part of this new show? Mm -hmm. And, you know, the original four Pretty Little Liars were all ready to go do new things. That's just sort of the way the world works. Yeah. And so my challenge then as the creator of this new show was to honor Emerson's relationship and continue to honor it as we launch this new story. Mm -hmm. And it was a challenge. And... I, I hope we've done the best job possible mm -hmm. of, of honoring what we know is their truth. You're still close with the PLLs. Have you talked to Shay? Is it a possibility that we could see Emily on the show? I, I think everything's possible. I think there are, our OG PLLs are really supportive of the show. They're so supportive of Sasha and Janelle and, and me and, and our new cast. Mm -hmm. and, and I think everything is possible. Mm -hmm. Will we see the babies? Will we see the twins? You will see the twins. Yeah? Yeah, that makes me They're happy. a little older now. Really? They're toddlers now. They're like maybe three. Okay, so are we getting a little bit of a time jump almost? I think it's almost a real time time jump from the time we, we ended PLL, which mm -hmm. was a year ago, to the time this uh, show will premiere. It's sort of, sort of real time. Let's talk about Ali and Mona. Two of my favorite characters are going to get to interact a lot more. How would you describe their dynamic at the beginning of The Perfectionists? Well, Allison is surprised to see Mona. You can see that from the sizzle reel when she stops by for pie. And um, it, it's, you know, Mona's Mona, and you never really know if you can trust her or not, and that continues to be her truth in this new story. Well, because the last time we saw Mona, she was playing with her living dolls, Alex and Mary Drake. Yep. Will we get an answer as to if those girls are still stuck behind the glass? We definitely will get that answer in a very cheeky Mona way. I love Mona, and I loved her because she was so fierce, and she never needed a man to define her or a, a woman. Could we see her, though, be in a relationship in this new show? Yes, I, I think it's, it's, it's her turn for, as, a, as an actress and as a character for mm -hmm. us to have a lot more time to spend with her and, and, and really get to know Mona even better than we already do. Mm -hmm. So that sounds like we could get a love interest for sure. Yes, it does. Can you tease anything about this person that Mona will be interacting with? I cannot. Okay. But I know you will soon. But we will. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Give me a couple more weeks in the writer's room and, and I can give you some more information. And of course, Sophia Carson coming onto the show. Amazing. Ava, who I know has a lot of secrets. What type of secrets could she be hiding? What should fans know about her? Uh, Sophia's character of Ava has, in my opinion, 
my favorite. Everybody has a secret going mm -hmm. into this new show, and her secret is really one of my favorites. And I don't want to give up what it is, but it's pretty awesome and pretty cool. And she's kind of a fierce badass. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we in her own way. In well, her I was going to say, way, I kind Sophia of feel so adorable. I love the fact that we have the most badass girls all coming together. How are we going to see their dynamic together? Well, Allie comes in. You know, Allie, Allie, we find out in the pilot is coming to Beacon Heights because she got a job at mm -hmm. Beacon Heights University, and she is going to. Um, She's going to, I mean, she's a role model in some ways for these for these younger kids. Mm -hmm. So Sophia's a student at Beacon Heights, and so, so Allie, um, oh, I don't want to give up too much. But, but it's uh, me, it's, Mar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all good. You'll yes. see. I'm excited about it. Um, we caught up with Troyan, and she said that you guys have already had conversations about her possibly directing a future episode. Is that something that could happen? We'd love it. Yes, I talked to Troyan about that. And actually, Ashley Benson's really interested in directing an episode, too. So that would be great if we could figure out all that stuff. That would be amazing. Good for Ash. Yeah, she's a baller. She's a baller. They all are. Yeah, they're all smart. They all could direct if they want to. They all could direct. And you've talked with the girls. They've been so supportive of the show. Lucy told me that she's so excited that she would be interested in having Aria kind of maybe make an appearance in Beacon Heights. Would you want the OGs to ever make a cameo on the show? Always. They're always welcome. We'll always find. I think it's there's such a seamless sort of transition to this new show that it's it's always possible for people to come in and drop in and, mm -hmm. and visit us. Looking back at Pretty Little Liars, I personally loved the way that you left Spencer and Toby's storyline. I thought that it was very true to life, and I thought that it was nice to not have everything quite so wrapped up with a bow, because that's not how life is. Um, but you did talk to the fans, and you did tell them that you were going to write a little bit more. You teased that on Twitter. Do you have any Spoby updates for us? I have any Spoby updates? I kind of know where they are in my mind, and honestly, I just haven't had time to sit down and, and write that mm -hmm. chapter, but, but I still will. I'll do it. Can you give us just me? They're happy. I know that. Great. A little peek into your mind. I love that. They're happy. I think it's, it's you know, they, they are living in Philadelphia. They're not living in Rosewood. Toby is helping to build housing for the homeless. And Spencer is getting her law degree. For the Pretty Little Liars fans out there who are going to tune in to The Perfectionists, what do you want them to know before they watch this first episode? Well, they can go back and binge Pretty Little Liars, which I think a lot of people are doing right now. I just noticed on, on social media because of the eight-year birthday or anniversary mm -hmm. of, of the original airing of the show yesterday, a lot of people seem to be going back to binge. You don't have to have watched Pretty Little Liars to enjoy The Perfectionist, okay. but you'll find a lot of Easter eggs in the new show if you do. Yeah. And um, just prepare for a fun new ride.